Oh, hello. Guess who bought a drone? No spoilers, but it is me. I did, I bought a drone. And just kidding, there was some definite spoilers there. So get ready for some dope ass, bomb ass drone footage over the next couple vlogs. Casey Neistat, you better watch your back. Cause I'm coming for it. Not your back, but like in a competitive way. Get scared. Oh, hello, good morning. Kind of, it's not really. It's really hard to wake up before noon lately because jet lag is real. I've wanted to put out these vlogs like way sooner, but since I've gotten back, I've been like nonstop going on auditions and doing shows and just a lot of things happened and I don't know, what day is it? We never know over here. Also, what do I do with all this hair? I grew so much hair in the past couple weeks. Where did it come from? It's gotta go. Not right now. Right now, we're gonna watch a Neural. By the way, welcome to Neural, Nikki in real life. Neural. I'll show you clips and pictures of my real, actual life. If you don't know, Steve and I just got back from a two-week honeymoon in Bali. It was amazing, like life-changing. Like I'm reevaluating everything in my life right now because it was so great. And we actually went on a double honeymoon with two of our best friends, Jess Lazama and Joe Anderson. Well, actually, they're both Anderson's now, so Jess Anderson. We got married within a month of each other. We like each other that much that we decided to go on a double honeymoon. I hope you like vlogs because you're gonna get a lot of them over the next like couple weeks. Also, I think I'm gonna attempt Vlogmas this year. No promises, I say that every year. It hasn't happened yet. Anyway, let's jump into this vlog. When you fly to Bali from California, you have to take at least two planes and it's like 23 hours of flying. So last year we flew coach and Steve couldn't handle it. So this year we decided to splurge, since it was our honeymoon, we decided to splurge on business class, which neither of us have ever done before on an international flight. And we were like really geeking out over it. Bye Franklin. Bye Joe. We're leaving for two weeks. Have fun with Uncle Nate. Okay, so we just got on the plane. We're at LAX. The honeymoon has officially started. This is Steve and I's first time flying international business class. And like, we're both totally geeking out about everything. We were geeking out in the lounge area that there was like three crackers. Happy honeymoon. This is a private area. A private area? Please don't film in this private area. Okay, get out of my private area. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Not one. But two wins out. I got a blanket. I got a thick ass blanket. Oh, Steve got me a Nintendo Switch. So I'm super pumped about that. It's an early birthday present because it's my birthday in two days. A cool little book light. Yeah, that's cool. A little, little desk lamp. I got some. Ow. Noise canceling headphones. They gave me a hot towel. I saw another guy doing this, so I know it's right. Excuse me. Excuse me. I have a lot of hot toweling to do. Excuse me. And my fancy back pillow. Only the fanciest of back pillows for my fancy back. Okay, good night. I'm finished with the minions. Our layover was in Taipei, Taiwan. And once you get there, you can go into their business class lounge, which I was definitely not dressed for but they had like a huge buffet of food and then they had a shower where you could shower after a long flight and then they had a nap room like a sleeping room but the chair in there looked like really stained so I did not nap in there and then we were on our second flight I wore my chicest business class outfit and sweatpants and shoes I keep getting stopped and asked to show my business class pass because I look like I, a hobo anyway you get the picture right so we got one more plane to go before we're in Bali and we're the only people in this part of the plane. We could just switch seats all plane ride. And we're gonna. And we will. Get the value. And we will just get the value. <laughs> Honeymooning. We're officially honeymooning. I hope you like our song. It's an original. Bali. You can it's download original. it on iTunes. There's our driver. He's like really into us. He loves what we're so, doing. Yeah. And there's your husband. 
Oh yeah, he's really into a, what we're doing too. Hot. And it looks like you're driving because it's, <laughs> they drive the road. It does look like you're driving, except that you're not paying attention at all to what you're driving. Yeah. We just got done with a 23-hour flight. Well, it was two flights, but it was 23-ish hours yep. total. Uh, we missed a day, <laughs> and now we're now about it's Halloween. to. Now we're gonna. It's Halloween. Oh yeah. It's Halloween. Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween. Now we're on an hour and a half drive. Yay! Yay but we're, we're in Bali though. That's great. Yay! No matter what you people say, I'm gonna do my thing my way. No matter what you people do, I'm gonna do my thing much better than you. No matter what you say or do, oh boy, you're out of. So in Bali, it's an island, but there's like many different parts of Bali that you should definitely stay at. If you're gonna stay in Bali, don't just stay in one place, definitely move around. So the first leg of the trip we stayed in a place called Ubud which is um, more like inland it's where all like the tropical stuff is like waterfalls rice patties it was the most beautiful hotel I've ever stayed at got some cool oh, welcome flowers yeah let's meet yeah. married this means we're married, <laughs> we're married. <laughs> oh that made me look so much prettier <laughs> what are you talking about I look like I've been on the plane it's gonna roll right off of me like water off the back of a duck and I go Hello, oh my god. We just got to our room and I immediately had to jump in the pool just for like a little bit because our room has a pool in the room. Like this is part of our room. This is the view from our bed. Here's our bed. Oh my goodness. Also this place is huge. Look at the ceiling. Ah! Oh my God. I feel like I'm in a dream. I feel like I'm in one of those good dreams. You know, the kind with the sad wake em ups. And I feel like I'm gonna have a wake em up really soon and this isn't gonna be real, but oh my goodness, it's so real. It was like 24 hours of traveling and I don't care. This is so worth it. Look at these pillows. These is like meditation pillows or maybe you wanna have your little breakfast on the floor. Who cares? You wanna have it outside? You got a little, little you got a little gazebo attached to your room. I feel like we may have booked the best hotel first. We have three hotels on this trip and this is amazing. I'm gonna show you guys outside too. The grounds is gorgeous, like beautiful, gorgeous. Uh, also Steve's in the shower, but there's a whole huge bathroom with like a huge bathtub and a huge shower. It's so cool. So yeah, I went for like a little dip already in there. I don't even care. 24 hours of traveling, I can haul me back from that pool. Nah. -uh. I'm getting really sassy on this trip. Uba just brings out the sass at me. Ooh, better believe it. <laughs> oh, shit. He heard my pun. Huh? Anyway, we're here with our friends Joe and Jess, so we're supposed to be getting ready right now. And then we're gonna go eat dinner. I'm so excited! I don't know what to do, because I'm supposed to do nothing right now, right? I'm supposed to relax. I don't know how to relax. I like physically have problems relaxing, which by the way, I've been using this new app called this sounds like a this sounds like an ad, but I'm I'm swear I'm not sponsored by this app, but I love this app. I just started using this app called Calm. It's a meditation app. It's a lot like it's a lot like um, Headspace, but I like this lady's voice. But sorry, card ran out. Anyway, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Steve's out of the bathroom now. Um, this is the bathroom. Don't look at my butt. This is the bathtub. It goes down into there and then I think this thing opens up so you can just like take baths and look outside and be like I'm in Bali cool shower this is the going into the bedroom look at these high ceilings oh my god oh my god where are we please don't take us away from here this is the view from our first dinner, first dinner. it also happens to be happy hour because that's how we roll we don't need to look for happy hours happy hours look for us yeah, I go. say 15% on car insurance. Hi, good morning. It's our first morning in Bali. I woke up at 4.30. I've been to hell and back trying to get Tasty Tuesday up this week. It's Halloween, so like I made a special Tasty Tuesday and I really wanted to go up. It's very spooky, it can't go up any other Tuesday. I had um, someone help me do the rough cut for it so that I wouldn't have to 
um, think about it when I was traveling on the plane. And they used a different version of Adobe Premiere Pro than what I have. So I've been like trying my ass off trying to download this other version of Premiere to get it to work on my computer. And let me just show you. I'm updating my software, but the, the internet's also slow here. This was at 26 minutes, now it's at 47 minutes, now it's at 52, it's just going crazy. So I don't know if this is gonna even happen. It's now 6.30 a.m. here. I've been doing this for two hours and it's still not working. I don't know if it's going up. I'm trying really hard. It's our honeymoon and I'm, this is dedication. Hopefully it goes up. Cause I, you know, I also like, I filmed it, I shot it filmed it. I'm trying. Spoilers, I didn't get Tasty Tuesday yet. I was really, really bummed about it. So we went to breakfast instead. where we're staying but also this is like the town part. Temple trekking! We actually made it out of the hotel. <laughs> they were in a temple right now. There's a lot of temples in Ubud and in Bali. This is one of them. This is just one of them. from happy hour. Again, we don't look for happy hours, they find they us. They look for us. Yeah, after a few happy hours, <laughs> very, very happy hours, we got back to the hotel and I decided to try to use my drone for the first time. Learning how to drive this thing. Is it supposed to do that? I hope it's supposed to do that. Am I doing this right? Hopefully. If not, it's gonna end up in a waterfall. Tip for those traveling with a drone that have never droned before, learn how to use it before you go on a trip. It took me a couple of hours to figure it out, charge it up, get updated software, all that stuff. But here's a clip from the first time that I ever flew my drone. But here's some footage of the first time I ever flew my drone and also of the hotel being like the sweetest hotel ever and putting flowers on our bed and in our bathtub and giving us a honeymoon cake. <laughs> Continued. <laughs> 